Hey guys, Ron here. This is that uh, 3550 uh, Model Two, Model Three that had a backplane problem. So I think it's a backplane because it wasn't recognizing tracks. So we got a new backplane. So let's put it in and see what happens. Also, this was the same unit that uh, had 32 gigs of memory but only registered 24. Now it's showing all 32 because you put them in the right order. They have to be exactly in the order as prescribed. Also, I ran out of IBM rack rails. So I took, the, I had this old DL360 Gen 4, still a good old machine. So I'm able to, this is so power strong, the rack is so strong for this. I can put these two up here and slide this out with these two. So for temporarily it works. All right, let's get to uh, trying to get this uh, in there. All right, so this has to get a, uh, a SATA cable, a battery backup cable, and I'm at this some kind of, I'm not sure if it's data or just uh, some kind of I.O. for um, the RAID controller. I'm still operating with one hand, pretty much, one and a half hand, so a little difficult. So let's get this guy in here. See how I'm gonna do this. Let's slide this back in. Power this guy up. Gotta put the main power on. Alright, so we'll fire this guy up. This is all I wanted.
I'll be back. So we got a run in. We got two drives in there right now. We got the same little distance in a row. But unlike uh, Windows, you have to configure to the rate control, you have to configure the drive. So I had to go to the uh, control H, configure the uh, rate controller, tell it to uh, tell it to how I want to set up the drive it's called the uh, array or non-array zero or one. Uh, set it up, initializing, which is also the same as formatting, and uh, right now I'm loading window. So it's definitely a worthy repair. That's the only little difference in the world. And again, it's the rate control and setting up the stick. So we start windows up and running in a minute. And uh, so another, another piece of repair, nice machine. So windows are still loading. Uh, a little bit from the USB drive. I had a copy on an uh, SD card. So go to boot help to uh, load up the USB. And uh, Doing the thing. So once I get this run, I'll uh, pop in the Ethernet cable. Actually, two of them, one for the MRI, for the management, so I can do remote, and one for the regular Ethernet, so we can get on the internet to see what's going on. Alright, so another adventure. It's nice to get them fixed, so. The Model 3 is a nice machine too, in my favorite. Alright guys, I'll come on.